Hi friends and welcome back to this channel. My name is Tendai and thank you so much for tuning in today for liking, commenting and subscribing to this channel or if you're just stopping by, that's okay too. Thank you so much for, for, for tuning in today and um, I do appreciate all of your support as well and for helping the family to grow. Now having said that you guys, if you don't know, today is Monday where I do share everything that has to do with faith, my journey and walk with God, what is helping me to learn and unlearn. And hopefully everything that I share with y'all, no matter how great or small it may be today, it is my hope and prayer that you may, it might inspire you and it might help you to see God is moving and working in your life for you. Amen. All right. Now, having said that, you guys, I'm sharing with you yet another scripture to take, to take into heart as we move in into year 2023. And the scripture is found in the book of Psalm, once again, chapter 28. And it's a long one. It's found from verse 1 to 14. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. And the scripture reads, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set, your, your, will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You'll be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock and the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Your basket and your knitting trowel will be blessed. You'll be blessed when you come in. You'll be blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will fall. They will come at, at you from one direction but they will flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your bonds and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he, as he promised you on, on oath. If you keep his commands and the Lord your God and walk in obedience to him, then all, your, or then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant, abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground in the land you swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open up, will open up the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. If you pay attention to the commandments of the Lord that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top and never at the bottom. Amen. Do not turn aside from any commands I give you today. So the right to the right or to the left, following other gods and saving them. Amen. This is where the scripture ends today. Now, when we look at the entirety of the scripture, God is speaking to the children of Israel through Moses, right? So in the same way, yes, it's, an, it's a scripture found in the Old Testament, but God is still speaking to us today in present time, in 2022, and moving on into 2023, right? God still wants us to have that life, to live that, that life of, of abundance, right? God still wants us to live a life where we love him, where we honor him, where we submit to him, where we where, where we surrender him uh, to him as children of God, right? Unfortunately, I think sometimes what what I have found in my own life is in many occasions I thought God was a genie, literally. I thought I would just go to him, say a little prayer, and then tomorrow everything that I that I had prayed for would come to pass. No, through my journey and walk with God, I have learned that we have to be in relationship with God. We have to surrender to him each and every day. Yes, it is difficult. We have his Holy Spirit that is that helps us each and every day to commune with him, to talk to him, to ask him for things, to, to raise our petitions and to pray and to just stay in relationship with him as we carry on in our own life. We, we are so blessed in the sense that we have the Holy Spirit, right? We have God with us today in present time to help us maintain that relationship with him, right? Even when times are we fall short, when we come back to God, when we repent to God, 
God sees our heart posture, right? Because we cannot fulfill each and every commandment. We cannot fulfill, you know, what God was saying to the children of Israel and what he's saying to us in this scripture. But you know what? We know the story already that, you know what, that, we, that God sent Christ to die for our sins and so that we can be in communion with God so that we can be in right standing with God, you know? And I love the promises of of and the blessings that God promises us as children, right? The people, the children that choose life as opposed to death, the choose the people that choose to do life with Christ and surrender to him as the as their Lord and Savior. Yes, the promises of God, they are conditional, right? We must choose life. We must choose to do the right thing. We must choose to 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 be rooted and entered in Christ, right? For us to to receive these blessings, and they are conditional. This is what I'm learning. God is not doing is not going to just drop something at our lap on our laps, right? We still need to do the work. We need to do the spiritual work. We need to do the internal work. We need to guard our hearts, our emotions. We need to safeguard our mind by the help and by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I love that as we go back to the scripture in Deuteronomy in Deuteronomy uh, 28 verses 1 to 14 these are amazing promises right there is nothing there is not one thing that I can say wow this is you know not amazing each and everything is amazing these are all good rewards and all good blessings from the Lord so as we walk into 2023 friends let us encourage each other listen i'm also encouraging myself this scripture is for me y'all i'm encouraging myself in the lord and i'm asking him to remind me on his faithful promises to give me the strength right to give me the tenacity to give me the perseverance that i need as i journey on into 2023 by his grace and by his mercy so that i too can receive all of these amazing blessings that already have been won through and in Christ Jesus, but it is my choice, it is your choice to accept Christ as our Lord and Savior and choose to do life with Him, no matter what life may bring. Amen. All right, you guys. So this is where the video ends for today. Uh, it is my hope and prayer that, you know, you might find it encouraging and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year and I'll see you soon. Take care, God bless and put everything in prayer. Thank you.